Well, a year after a surge of asylum seekers and other migrants overwhelmed authorities at the southern border, Customs and Border Protection has opened a new processing facility in Northeast El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields here now with a look inside. The processing center is located on Gateway South in Hondo Pass, and according to CBP, it has the capacity to hold up to 1,000 people. This facility is, is, is much better for us, for number one, for our agents to, again, to efficiently and, and properly process those that are in our custody. But most importantly, it's going to provide the, the adequate care and, and necessities for those that are in our custody. Customs and Border Protection showing us inside the new processing facility off US 54, saying the center will help the agency process and humanely care for migrants apprehended at the southern border. We're going to do our job, we're going to support our mission, but at the same time, we're going to make sure that we provide those in our custody with the proper care. As we've reported, Border Patrol came under heavy criticism last year due to overcrowded conditions and alleged neglect at some of the holding facilities, including makeshift holding areas under an El Paso International Bridge. Certainly, if we'd have had this facility operational uh, last year when we started getting the surge, we'd be in a much better position. The new facility is equipped with screening offices, a medical bay, and a children's play area. We also got a look at storage spaces for food items, clothing, and various care essentials for children of different ages. CBP says there will also be employees hired to specifically care for children. When you have a general population of underage children, or should I say unaccompanied alien children, uh, there will be monitors and caregivers throughout the facility. The new processing center is expected to be up and running by this weekend. Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie.